It was the only serum this year that I went through more than one bottle of. If you are someone who has oily combo skin and felt like a lot of brightening serums felt a little bit oily, a little bit sticky, this is the one for you because it has the most beautiful gel-like texture that feels really, really light and fresh on the skin. It is a serum that I'm just so excited to use every night. Minasan konnichiwa, this is Tina and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be sharing the best serums of 2023. If that sounds like your thing, then please go ahead and turn the China, yow. So this time we have serums, which honestly, I feel like there weren't that many standouts this year. I mean, I feel like I said the same thing last year when I was like, next year I want to explore more and more different types of serums. And I feel like I didn't really do that. Regardless, I'm going to share with you guys the serums that I reach for the most this year. Before we get started, my skin type is dry and dehydrated. And the general climate that I live in is on the drier side being Melbourne, Australia. Also a side note, I do try to select products that I discovered this year specifically because especially if they're Holy Girl products, I probably will be using them over years and years and I will keep repeating the same products. And yeah, I hope you enjoy them. Let's get started. So three out of the five, one, two, three, four, five. Yes, yeah, serums I have today are brightening serums. And I guess that's just my number one category of serums. Even if I'm not specifically targeting hyperpigmentation or specific spots, I always like to include a brightening serum because it does help with overall um, evenness of your skin. And a lot of brightening serums are usually antioxidants as well, which are going to help just overall health of your skin. So the first one I have is my personal favorite brightening serum pick of this year and it is the Claire's Freshly Juiced Vitamin Charging Serum. So I was able to include this one in my skincare box with Wish Trend this year which was very very exciting and I actually did go through two bottles. One of them still has a little bit but we are almost empty because it was a really really easy serum for me to use. So the first Freshly Juiced Serum included 5% ascorbic acid whereas this one includes 10% of 3-O-ethyl ascorbic acid which is a vitamin vitamin C derivative. So it's still going to help brighten and have all of those benefits, although it is less possible to irritate the skin. It doesn't oxidize as easy. It doesn't have that distinct vitamin C smell and it doesn't feel like as sticky or oily like on the skin. It has a very nice sleek packaging pump bottle. It is also like an airtight container. So you do get every last drop out of it. And the texture is somewhere in between a a gel and fluid. It's really quite liquidy, but it's not water thin, but it's also not oily and it really does um, kind of glide and absorb easily on the skin. It does also work as a hydrating serum since it does have beta glucan in it, as well as a soothing serum because it does have Centella Asiatica. So it's kind of like an all around the serum, which focuses on evening out your skin tone. It was the only serum this year that I went through more than one bottle of, and I will happily continue to use it. The next brightening serum I have is my top pick for those who have oily combo skin and it is the Revectin Vita Dark Spot Serum. This next portion of the video is sponsored by Revectin. I know I don't usually have sponsorships on my best of videos. I know. Please forgive me. This is the only one but still I swear to you I genuinely do enjoy this product. As you guys know a lot of my skincare staples and favorites are from Revectin and this was their first product that they released focusing on evening and brightening the skin tone. So very very exciting stuff. If you are someone who has oily combo skin and felt like a lot of brightening serums felt a little bit oily, a little bit sticky, this is the one for you because it has the most beautiful gel-like texture that feels really, really light and fresh on the skin. So this one includes 70% of vitamin tree water, which is going to help brighten the skin. And it also does have niacinamide, arabutin, and 3-O-ethyl ascorbic acid. So it's got four ingredients in there that really do target that hyperpigmentation and even of your skin tone but it is that really light fresh feeling serum. This one I have gone back to using recently because it's finally starting to get warmer in Australia. It has been a really long winter, autumn, whatever you want to call it. It was cold for quite some time but literally in the last week or so it has picked up and we've had some warmer days. So that's when I like to use this one because it is that really fresh texture. And then also my partner Logan who has more combo skin and 
skin can get a little bit oilier in the warmer months. This has been the serum he's been using in the morning. I also love the packaging. Actually, it's quite similar to the Claire's one where it's kind of like a airless pump, how it kind of goes up and it is in a pump container. And again, really hydrating to the skin without feeling sticky. The last brightening serum I have is actually the best affordable pick of this year. And it is the Jumiso All Day Vitamin Pure C 5.5 Glow Serum. I never know exactly what part is the product name when it comes to Jumiso serums. This one is really, really affordable. I think it's like less than $20 and it is a pure ascorbic acid 5.5% serum. So it does have that potent ingredient in it. Because of that, I will say the texture is a little bit more oily, a little bit more fluidy and has a slight tackiness compared to the other two. But if you want something that's just affordable, you wanna use it every day, this is a really, really good option. But since it is ascorbic acid, it doesn't last very long. This one is a period after opening of three months months which is pretty short I feel like most skincare products these days are 12 months or even six but this one is three so you do have to use it quickly before it oxidizes I think we somehow managed between me and Logan the both of us using it but I would say that's like the biggest con is it is affordable but it is going to oxidize so you can kind of see the yellow there it is going to oxidize um fairly quick if you just want bang for buck something affordable something you can just use every day this one is definitely the standout next I have the best hydrating serum of this year and it is the Ionique Beta Glucan Power Moisture Serum. This one is, I guess I've only been using it for like a couple of months but it's kind of been my go-to hydrating serum. I mean there's so many hydrating serums out there, especially hyaluronic acid based serums. There's so 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 many but this one's main ingredient is Beta Glucan which I have like fallen in love with this year and it's supposedly better than hyaluronic acid and it also does have soothing properties to it as well. It also has a really, really simple ingredients list. I think it only has about eight ingredients and it was the one that I relied on when my skin was feeling irritated and unstable. Like I can't and don't try to use too many products when my skin is having a flare up or if it's irritated. So I honestly like barely even use serums, but this was a serum that I could use with no fuss, no issues. It didn't sting. It didn't kind of aggravate the irritation or anything. It is a hydrating serum so it's going to be more affordable than say um, something with actives but it is a big 50 ml and I'm pretty sure it's under $20. So yeah if you just want a serum that's going to help with hydration, going to help with soothing the skin, also with elasticity to your skin, no brainer you can use it morning and night and I did even take a mini with me while I was in Japan because I felt like it was a serum that I could use like anytime any day. The last serum I have I haven't even talked about on my channel yet and I've only been using it for a couple of weeks. So this might be like getting ahead of myself. Number one pick for bougie luxurious serum this year is the Decorte Liposome Advanced Repair Serum. So this serum is absolutely raved about in Japan. Whenever I go there, I see it everywhere. It's been ranked number one so many times. Everybody loves it. It is just that serum that everybody seems to need in their life. So I got it earlier this year in Japan. Japan, but I didn't open it until a few weeks ago because it's expensive. I think it was like 8,000 yen for this 30 meals, which possibly is the most I've paid for a serum possibly. And yes, I did um, spend my own money and purchase it. it. Took me a while to bite the bullet, but recently I had been looking for a serum that repairs, nourishes, coddles my skin as I sleep and something that I can just consistently use that will just keep my skin in check and a healthy state, I guess. And I must say, when I came back from Japan, my skin was not in a great state and I've been using it basically since I've been back every night. And my skin, other than like a couple breakouts that literally popped up yesterday because it's that time of the month. But other than that, I feel like my skin really has been healthy. Like I don't really know how else to put it healthy, really soft, really plump. It is a serum that I'm just so excited to use every night. I mean, even the packaging, like the weight of this alone, it's like, yeah, 
this is like a luxury product. The lid, the pump, like everything about it is very, very bougie, very luxurious, but it is very exciting to use. The texture is almost like a emulsion lotion type texture. It glides on. I tend to put a couple pumps in my palm and really do just press it in. It feels nourishing without feeling sticky. Just feels like it creates like this protective veil on my skin. So the concept is is that every drop of this serum contains one trillion multi-layer bioliposomes, which sounds really, really confusing and I had to look it up myself too. But basically it contains one trillion of these little capsules that contain lipids, which are something that are naturally occurring to our skin and something that we need for our skin to stay healthy. So that's what is in this essentially. It also has hyaluronic acid, ceramides, vitamin E, all things that basically our skin would like and needs to stay healthy in a bottle and I honestly cannot say if it's like worth every penny because it is expensive and there's lots of great affordable skincare products out there would I buy it again honestly Probably. I mean, I don't spend that much money on skincare, luckily, because I receive so much. And that is thanks to you guys and the brands that support this channel. And I'm really, really grateful for it. But because of that, I don't spend too much money on skincare. I mean, I say that, yet I... <laughs> But it is something that I would splurge and spend that extra money to get. Am I buying into the hype? Possibly. If it wasn't hyped, would I be so hyped about it? Probably not. Who knows? Whether it's like a placebo effect or really good, I like genuinely do enjoy it. Well, there you have it, you guys. That is the best serums of 2023. I really do hope you guys enjoyed it. If you do want to check out other content while I'm brewing up the other best of videos, make sure you check it out and subscribe so you know when they come out and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Mwah.